Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Now, I've never worked in a pet store before, but I do need to know how to bag fish because I need to know how to keep them alive in a bag for at least eight hours. A Ziploc bag, while it will work short time, short term, it will not work long term. Even if you get a big Ziploc bag, it's not gonna have enough oxygen in there for you. And if it's sitting on a table, like at an auction, if it gets bumped, it could come open, all that water comes out. So I'm gonna show you how to tie this bag. So the bags that I use are just bags that I save from buying fish at fish stores. So, you know, reduce, reuse, re recycle. And it costs you nothing. So the first thing I like to do is I move, fold the bag down like this before I catch my fish. Because I only want a third to a quarter amount of water in the bag and the rest of it I'm gonna use is gonna be for air. And I fold it like this and it'll float. The bag will float on top like this. So I'm gonna fill it with water, have the bag float, and then I'm gonna catch my fish. Okay. I've got my bag filled with water. Let's pretend I've just caught a fish. Come over here, I unfold my bag like that. Now this part here I want to put my hand in, make sure there's lots of, it's open. And I don't, if you go super fast when I close it, I can go slow and just kind of close the top like that. And then as I turn the bag, it will fill with air like that. Take the top and I fold it over like that. And then this elastic is actually way too big, but I just keep turning my elastic and going over and over. Now normally I would be using a small elastic, I just couldn't find one that small for right now. There's my bag, there's my fish bag, there's my, I've got my air in it. And this is gonna last me eight hours at the auction. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.